That is the most all-time ahead of the Celtics, Warriors, 76ers, and Knicks. Now for more, let's check in with Allie Clifton and a special guest from Inside the Bubble. That's right, Geeter. Thanks so much for joining us live. It's ESPN's Dave McMenamin inside the bubble. But Dave, I will say this. You've been all over the bubble, if you will. You spent over seven weeks in Tier 2. This will be just your second Laker game in Tier 1. And I know the finals is nothing new for you to experience, but how ready are you to watch this thing unfold now there in Tier 1? Uh, it's been really exciting to be out and be so close to the action. Game five of the Western Conference Finals was a classic, and hopefully we get a classic NBA Finals. I've been fortunate enough to now, just, tonight will be my ninth NBA Finals I'm covering, and it's unlike, obviously, all the other eight that I've gotten to see, um, but I think this one could be just as competitive as any of the other ones that, that I was fortunate enough to cover. So, Dave, let's dive right into it. Let's waste no time. I'll keep it simple for you. You're NBA 2020 champion will be in in how many games? Uh, I, I, they make us make predictions at ESPN, <laughs> so I, I picked the Lakers in six. And mostly it's it's a nod to having two of the All-NBA players, uh, first-team All-NBA players, LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Obviously, this team has been dynamite from the start uh, over a year ago when they started out training camp. But a great deal of respect for what this Miami Heat team has done. Even though they're the fifth seed in the Eastern Conference, they have balance, they have toughness, they have shooting, they have coaching, and they're going to be a handful for the Lakers to get past. Look, Dave, you just mentioned that it's your ninth time covering the NBA Finals, but it's your fifth time in the past six seasons covering LeBron James all the way through to this point. And I know for you, obviously, you're with him day in and day out. No one knows him better than you, Dave. And you spent some time with him after that Game 5 closeout against the Denver Nuggets just a few days ago, where a lot of the talk was about him accomplishing getting to the Finals ten times. What about his mindset stands out to you from that conversation heading here into this Finals period? Yeah, Allison, uh, Allie, Allison, Allie, you know him really well also, and you know that he is a student of the game, a historian, um, and he recognizes an accomplishment like 10 NBA Finals is something that's real and tangible. The only, uh, only a couple of the guys that's had that many. He ties him with Kareem Abdul for the third most all time. But he told me that doesn't mean bleep unless I get it done unless we get it done and finish the job here. And to me, you know, LeBron is someone who is kind of smart about what he puts out in the press and, and the pressure that he wants to add to his shoulders sometimes. He wants to try to maybe avoid that. He put himself square in the middle of what this thing's going to be about. You know, it, it's, it's put up or shut up. It's do or die. And, um, you know, I, I think if you look at it, four and six in the finals will feel a lot different. Uh, when it comes to legacy than three and seven will. Put up or shut up, I love that. And you can call me Allison whenever you want, David, uh, because I have a point for you here that I <laughs> want to make, which may seem a bit twisted, but follow me here, because I know you love covering hoops. Anyone who follows you on social media knows that you love to play hoops, but I don't think there's anything you love more than Syracuse basketball. And the other day, Lakers GM and President of Basketball Operations, Rob Polinka called you out for wearing a Syracuse basketball shirt around the bubble because he thought that that meant you were rooting for the Heat. Why? Because Syracuse loves the zone. Of course, the Heat making a name for themselves given that zone. So what is it about the zone that the Lakers must be ready for when it comes to Miami's defense? Yeah, absolutely, Ali. Uh, you know, Rob gave me some guff for it. You know, I, I rock my Syracuse gear 365. Uh, but he makes a good point. I mean, the Miami Heat are the zone team of the NBA. They've played 190 possessions of zone defense in the playoffs, which is by far the number one team in the, the league in the 2020 playoffs. The, the Lakers are third with 30 possessions. And so, to me, when we would run it in Syracuse basketball practices and, and try to understand it so we could implement it, it's all about getting to that middle of the zone. You have an entry pass to the foul line extended, and then have that guy be the playmaker. Either you put it on the floor, get to the hoop, you pass it out to a shooter. Uh, you'll see Le uh, LeBron in the middle of that zone. You'll see Rajon Rondo in the middle of that zone. You'll see Anthony Davis in the middle of that zone as well. Well, David Menemann, we appreciate your time as always. I'm so glad we got to catch up with you on this network. Finally, hopefully the Lakers will get the job done tonight and you can enjoy some big face coffee by the founder of himself, Jimmy Butler, tomorrow morning. Dave, thanks as always. <laughs> 
I appreciate it. Thank During yesterday's media day, LeBron spoke about his time with the Miami Heat and the challenge ahead. I think being around, um, you know, Rouse and Spo, D Wade and UD, and uh, and 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 you know, just to name a few, uh, being a part of that culture um, allowed me to to grow, um, allowed me to see, uh, you know, what it takes to not only compete for a championship but also to win a championship. Um, you know, so it, it definitely, um, you know, put me in a position uh, where I, I knew um, what it took. Um, I saw what it took, um, but also, um, you know, I, I fit that culture as well because how hard I work. Um, so it, it was a uh, it was a perfect match uh, for those four years. Would it have any extra meaning to you to win a championship against uh, against Pat Riley and Eric Spolstra, guys that have have helped shape you and vice versa um, in those years together? Absolutely not. It's too. It's it's no extra. Uh, meaning to win a championship, no matter who you're playing against. It's already hard enough to even reach the finals, um, to be in this position. So if you're able to become uh, victorious out of the finals, it doesn't matter who it's against. He's a guy who, you know, obviously, when he plays against his former teams, you know, he, wants to, he wants to win very bad, very badly, just like anyone else would. You know, to be back in the finals against Miami, uh, I think it means a lot more to him you know, winning this one than Anyone else? And I think this championship is probably second behind Cleveland uh, if we're able to put, get this one for him. So, Rob, LeBron said it doesn't mean much to him who he's playing. He, he doesn't care. He just wants to win. AD says you, you bet it matters to him that it's the Heat. It's his former team. Um, the greats don't forget anything. What do you think? Does it matter to him? I, I think it's probably a 50-50 shot. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think anytime you get to the finals, it's a huge accomplishment, and you just want to get there and win. You know, a lot of people say, oh, we want to make it to the finals. No, LeBron's mindset is, I want to win the finals. And it's, it's two different ways of thinking that. And you'd be amazed at how many people are just happy to get to the finals. LeBron wants to get there and win. And I think it, it really doesn't matter who the opponent is because he wants to win a championship because he knows he has the capability of stepping on that court and just being LeBron James and putting everybody on his back and carrying his team to a championship because he's done it before. And we all know he's the best player in basketball and nothing other than a championship will, will be sufficient for him. I want to go to the other side of the coin for big game James. Pat Riley, your friend, your former coach. At the time, Riles was not happy when LeBron left. This is from a book called The Soul of Basketball by Ian Thompson. <laughs> he said, I had two to three days of tremendous anger. I was absolutely livid. My beautiful plan came crashing down. The team could have won five or six championships now of course he's moved on it's six years later but you know riles pretty well how bad does he want it well i mean definitely riles wants to win i mean he moved on from los angeles spent a little time in new york and before he found a home in uh miami and of course lebron leaving you know when lebron came they were they were going to win multiple championships and riles you know he was part of that move to bring him there so yeah, I mean, if you know Pat Riley, he wears it on, on, his, on his sleeve. The fire still burns, right? He, yeah, I mean, it doesn't go away. I don't think he has, like, this huge, like, revenge, redemption. But, you know, Rouse, I've known him, man. He, he, he's a competitor. Uh, he hates to, you know, to lose. And, you know, losing LeBron, you know, was, 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 was a huge thing to the organization. So uh, I'm sure he's going to yeah. be competing against the Lakers. But yeah, I know. Right. I mean, listen, he's 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 the Godfather. He's beloved here. I, I just love his honesty. Yeah, two to three days, I was yeah. I was very upset, Rob. <laughs> yeah, yeah. live it, and then you know you get there. everybody. Everybody yeah. gets upset when you know you when you see a potential winner a championship walk yeah. out that door. Yeah, you know you get upset. Everybody has that. But Pat Riley's name will always be linked with the Lakers, so it's yeah. probably extra special for sure for him to get back here with this team. They've done it the right way. They've built an unbelievable culture, and they're back in the finals. You got to give that that franchise unbelievable props. Uh, LeBron set to make his tenth finals appearance, and fellas. Time to go inside access to look at LeBron's numbers, career numbers with the all-time ranks in the NBA Finals. Points, 1,383, that's second all-time. Field goals made third, assists third, steals second, three-point field goals made second. Those are some numbers. Now let's check in with Allie Clemson.